Thank you to the Queensland Government and to Trade and Investment Queensland for inviting Tritium to be part of the Queensland Investment Showcase. I was looking forward to being in the room, but I'm now in Rome to meet with one of our largest customers globally, Enel. As one of Tritium's key strategic customers, Enel's a great example of the path to profitability through investment in sustainability and of the national benefits that follow far-sighted government decisions in relation to energy solutions. Formed when the Italian government privatised their National Electricity Board, Enel is now the second largest power company in the world, an early and continuing global leader in the fight against climate change. Tritium is another great example of a business built on the mission to achieve zero emissions with a global market leadership position. Tritium makes DC fast chargers for electric vehicles and we have number two market share globally outside of China. We hold 20% of the North American market, 10% of the European market, and more than 75% of the Australian New Zealand market. We listed the company on the NASDAQ in January, and in February I was invited to the White House by President Biden, where alongside the President, we announced our new Tennessee factory. President Biden in his speech said, the new manufacturing facility that Tritium announced today is more than just great news for Tennessee. This is great news for workers across the country, for the economy, and frankly, for the planet. To say that was a proud moment for the company would be an understatement. And what it demonstrates is the incredibly exciting business nucleus which the state of Queensland has become. Flying under the global radar, Queensland has quietly and deliberately stitched together the required elements to create homegrown businesses that are already or will become global players. According to the Global Innovation Index, Brisbane is in the top 100 science and technology clusters and in the top 50 rankings for science and technology intensity. Australian universities rank number seven globally in the QS World University ranking. Australia also emerged as the top country in the world for government budget allocations for R&D growth in 2020. This combination of a good higher education system, a stable and favourable business environment, relatively low labour costs, government investment in R&D, a top 25 ranking for women with advanced degrees and a high ranking in science and technology intensity is the fulcrum that created Tritium. Tritium was started by three engineering graduates from the University of Queensland more than 20 years ago. The founders were part of the World Solar Challenge and two of them completed their PhDs on government funded scholarships. The power electronics building block they developed for that race became a micro business building and selling solar inverters to their fellow solar racers. In 2012, the Tritium business received funding from an Israeli company called Better Place to build a DC fast electric vehicle charger, which became the prototype for the chargers we've rolled out more than 7,600 of across 41 countries. In 2014, Tritium sold our first electric vehicle charger and it remains the world's only fully liquid cooled Ingress Protection 65 rated and smallest footprint DC fast charger. That technological advantage is what the company's competitive advantage has been built on. And although we're an advanced manufacturing company, at heart, we remain a technology company, continuously bringing new world leading products to market. And having invested in a state of the art test facility where I'm standing today, located here in Brisbane, which has the world's highest power enabled EMC chamber. Tritium is now an Australian company listed on the NASDAQ with more than 550 staff across the world, the majority still located here in Brisbane and where our R&D centre and headquarters are still located. We manufacture the majority of our charges here, though that's soon to be overtaken by our new Tennessee factory that will have six times the local unit capacity. Tritium's a global exporter and we bring Euro and USD into Australia. In FY22, 46% of our revenue came from Europe, 39% from the Americas, and 15% from the Asia Pacific. Last financial year, we made 86 million in US dollars, or 133 million Aussie, at today's exchange rate. Tritium's a Queensland success story, but not the only one, and not by accident. Before I joined Tritium in 2019, I was the Chief Operating Officer of Boeing's International Phantom Works Division. That business division is Boeing's Advanced Prototype and Disruptive Tech Division, also headquartered here in Brisbane. Using solely Australian talent, that division designed and built Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a 38-foot stealth drone with advanced sensor technology, and Australia's first designed and built aircraft in 50 years. Again, no accident that the heart of that business, both technically and commercially, is in Brisbane. 
and that program's success was supported by the Queensland Government's strategic co-investment, which will bring and has already secured significant business and skills benefits to this state. I've become a disruptive technology commercialisation expert through world-class education and global best practices exposure that I've been able to gain throughout a career in advanced tech based solely in Brisbane. And I'm far from alone, as this state has a growing base of global experts in software engineering, electrical engineering, communications engineering, power electronics, systems integration, firmware, machine learning, AI, biomedicines, space tech, online training, the list is extensive. Tritium was supported by early stage funding to enable its global growth. Through a combination of private investment, majority Australian businesses and early support from the Queensland Government through the matched public-private funding of the Queensland Business Development Fund. This early investment enabled Tritium to access capital through the growth phase and on our path to profitability, enabling us to hold number two market share globally and to secure and maintain our blue chip customer base such as BP, Shell, Siemens and Enel. Our White House announcement is now a reality, as last month we opened our Tennessee factory, which will enable Tritium to pursue the enormous market opportunities in America, driven by President Biden's investment in US highway electrification, seven and a half billion of funding for electric vehicle charging. Queensland remains the heart of our global advanced tech and manufacturing business, which is competing on a global scale with a mission to electrify transportation and an aspiration to take number one market share. Again, thank you to the team at Trade and Investment Queensland and to the Queensland Government for this invitation. We wish all of the attendees a great investment showcase.